Good morning to you on this Thursday, the 11th of February, 2021. And here in Canterbury, there is thick snow on the ground. So wherever you may be worshipping with us today, welcome, keep warm, and we begin worship together. My name is Reverend Joe Richards and I'm Rector here in Canterbury, of St Dunstan's St Mildred's and St Peter's. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad. For you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase. And God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. And our appointed psalm today is Psalm 37. And the refrain is, the salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. Fret not because of evildoers. Be not jealous of those who do wrong. For they shall soon wither like grass and like the green herb fade away. Trust in the Lord and be doing good. Dwell in the land and be nourished with truth. Let your delight be in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord and put your trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. He will make your righteousness as clear as the light, and your just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait for him. Do not fret over those that prosper, as they follow their evil schemes. Refrain from anger and abandon wrath. Do not fret, lest you be moved to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. Yet a little while and the wicked shall be no more. You will search for their place and find them gone. But the lowly shall possess the land and shall delight in abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord shall laugh at the wicked for he sees that their day is coming. The wicked draw their sword and bend their bow to strike down the poor and needy, to slaughter those who walk in truth. Their sword shall go through their own heart and their bow shall be broken. The little that the righteous have is better than great riches of the wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the godly, and their inheritance shall stand for ever. They shall not be put to shame in the perilous time, and in days of famine they shall have enough. But the wicked shall perish like the glory of the meadows, the enemies of the land shall vanish. They shall vanish like smoke. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous are generous in giving. For those who are blessed by God shall possess the land, but those who are cursed by him shall be rooted out. When your steps are guided by the law and your delight in his way, though you stumble, you shall not fall headlong, for the Lord holds you fast by the hand. I have been young and now I am old. Yet never have I seen the righteous forsaken, or their children begging their bread. All the day long they are generous in lending, and their children also shall be blessed. Depart from evil and do good, 
and you shall abide forever. For the Lord loves the thing that is past and will not forsake his faithful ones. The unjust shall be destroyed forever, and the offspring of the wicked shall be rooted out. The righteousness shall possess the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and their tongue speaks a thing that is right. The law of their Lord God is in their heart, and their footsteps shall not slide. The wicked spy on the rich on the righteous and seek occasions to slay them. The Lord will not leave them in their hand, nor let them be condemned when they are judged. Wait upon the Lord and keep his way. He will rise up, rise you up to possess the land, and when the wicked are uprooted you shall see it. I myself have seen the wicked in great power, and flourishing like a leaf, like a tree in full leaf. I went by, and lo, they were gone. I sought them, but they could nowhere be found. Keep innocence and heed the thing that is right, for that will bring you peace at the last. But the sinners shall perish together, and the posterity of the wicked shall be rooted out. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in the time of trouble. The Lord shall stand firm by them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and shall save them, because they have put their trust in him. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. Blessed and holy God, ever merciful and forgiving, may we turn from that from what is evil and do what is good in your sight, for you have saved us by the cross of your sword, by the cross of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our first reading today is the whole of chapter 9 of Ecclesiastes. All this I laid to heart, examining it all, how the righteous and the wise and their deeds are in the hand of God, whether it is love or hate one does not know everything that confronts them is vanity since the same fate comes to all to the righteous and the wicked to the good and the evil to the clean and the unclean to those who sacrifice and those who do not sacrifice as are the good so are the sinners those who swear like those who shun an oath. This is an evil in all that happens under the sun, that the same fate comes to everyone. Moreover, the hearts of all are full of evil. Madness is in their hearts while they live, and after they go to the dead. But whoever is joined with all the living has hope, for a living dog is better than a dead lion. The living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no more reward, and even the memory of them is lost. Their love and their hate and their envy have already perished. Never again will they have any share in all that happens under the sun. Go, eat your bread in enjoyment, and drink your wine with a merry heart. For God has so long approved what you, what you do. Let your garments always be white. Do not let oil be lacking on your head. Enjoy life with the wife whom you love, all the days of your vain life that are given you under the sun, because that is your portion in life and in your toil at which you toil under the sun. Whatever your hand finds to do, do with your might, for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in Shoal to which you are going. Again, I saw that under the sun the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to the intelligent, nor favour to the skilful. But time and chance happen to them all, for no one can anticipate the time of disaster. Like fish taken in a cruel net, and like birds caught in a snare, so mortals are snared at a time of calamity when when it suddenly falls upon them. I've also seen this example of wisdom under the sun, 
and it seemed important to me. There was a little city with few people in it. A great king came against it and besieged it, building great siege works against it. Now, there was found in it a poor wise man, and he, by his wisdom, delivered the city. Yet no one remembered that poor man. So I said, Wisdom is better than might. Yet the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heeded. The quiet words of the wise are more to be heeded than the shouting of a ruler among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one bungler destroys much good. And now for our canticle, a song of the covenant. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God, who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it, and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord, and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prisons, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Our second reading today is continuation from John's Gospel and it's chapter 20 and it's verses 1 to 10. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw that the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and he went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. And as yet, they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. And now for our responsory. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name. You are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not. I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. And now for the Benedictus. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. 
This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Let us pray. And again, we use the prayers from the Church of England, um, prayers for the nation for today, as they've asked us to pray every day throughout February. Loving God, your Son, Jesus Christ, came that we might have life and have it abundantly. Pour out your blessing upon our nation and all nations. Where there is illness, bring your healing touch. Where there is fear, strengthen us with the knowledge of your presence. Where there is uncertainty, build us up in faith. Where there is dishonesty, lead us into truth. Where there is discord, may we know the harmony of your love. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And today, Thursday, we've been asked to pray for the NHS and other key workers. Our God is the great healer and the agent used more than any other is the NHS. Today, we voice our gratitude for those who serve this country in the National Health Service and pray for that God would prosper the work of their hands, that they would all be encouraged in their continued work of sacrifice and care among us. So Heavenly Father, today we lift all those workers who work in our three local hospitals. We pray for all the staff at the William Harvey Hospital, at the Kenton Canterbury Hospital and the QE QM Hospital in Margate. We pray for all those who work throughout the porters, those at this difficult time who work in the morgue, those who clean day after day, those who provide food in the canteens, for those who make difficult decisions, we pray for all those working in the intensive care units and on the wards. And in a moment of quiet, we just lift to you, O oh Lord, any folks we know personally working either locally or further afield in our NHS at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our world at this time. We pray for places where there is turmoil and fighting. And we just pray, O oh Lord, that your light of peace may shine in such dark places. We continue to pray for our church, for Justin, our Archbishop, for Rose, our Bishop, for Joe, our Archdeacon, and for all those who minister to others, lay and ordained, across our deanery, diocese, 
across our nation and around the world. Those who love and care for others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are struggling in body, mind or spirit. We pray for those known to us who are unwell at this time. For those who may be in hospital or sick at home. We pray for those on our benefits prayer sheet. And in a moment of quiet, all those who have specifically asked for prayer for today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray particularly with all the snow here in Canterbury. For those emergency services, our council and the gritters, those who are keeping our main roads open. Those who keep an eye out for one another. We lift them to you, O Lord. As we lift all those who this day are saying goodbye to loved ones, for those who are preparing for funerals, and for those whose anniversary of death falls at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And wherever we may be, we just give thanks for the beauty of our world, for the snow pictures, just looking at a snowflake, God's creation. And we give thanks for the day that lies ahead. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now for our collect for today. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you in the Holy Spirit reign supreme over all things, now and forever. Amen. And we pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and all those that you love and pray for, for this day and always. Amen. Thank you as ever for your comments and just reading Pauline's comment absolutely for all those who are struggling to get to work today in our hospitals. We just pray for their safe journeys. Please do, if you can, join us for night prayer at six tonight. Otherwise, do join me tomorrow morning for morning prayer at nine. Um, as ever, it's always good to be worshipping together. Keep warm. It's really cold out there. Keep safe. It's really slippery out there. Um, and keep praying. God bless and have a good day, whatever you might be doing. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>